Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Real quick, if you are new and you do enjoy this video and or find it helpful, make sure to go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment, and most importantly, subscribe so you do not miss out on any more Battlefield 5 videos coming out real soon, just like this one. So yeah, and so that you also help us reach uh, 1,200 subs. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had a blank there. But yeah, man, the support has been absolutely crazy recently. Uh, we hit 1,000. We're currently on 1,136 uh, 1,200 is, is the next goal, so if you could go ahead and hit that sub button, I would really, really appreciate that. So yeah, again, I'm going to repeat it again because I know there's a lot of people asking me to do weapons, uh, you know, like the weapons you want to see, um, you know, gold camo. I'm currently working on every gun, you know, I'm completing one, then moving on into the next one. Um, so I will be going ahead and trying to complete every weapon gold plated uh, for you guys so that, you you know, you can see what they all look like. Uh, these two guns, the Selp Slider 1916 and the Gewehr 15. I'm not going to do the Gewehr 15 uh, because it's exactly the same as the Sturm Gewehr 15. Uh, so they're in, I'm not going to go ahead and put myself through those challenges again, uh, especially for a semi automatic rifle, which the challenges are even harder than a fully automatic rifle. Um, so I'm not going to go ahead and do that for a gun that you know, I already did basically. And the Selp Slider uh, 1916. I am pretty tired of the semi-automatic um, assignments right now, so I'm moving on into the medic class weapons. But yeah, for this video, you guys see that it is the Ribby Rolls uh, fully automatic assault rifle that they recently added, I think yesterday, and I already am completed level 10, maxed out, full specializations, and full gold camo. So let's hop into the um, customizations. Again, this is not the order you unlock them in, this is just the order they're like showing them in. Uh, starting off with the iron sight, uh, I recommend the iron sight. I honestly do for close to medium distances because this gun has really good accuracy and that slowish uh, rate of fire does help you out um, in controlling the weapon in medium to, I wouldn't really say long distance, but medium distance fights. Uh, this gun does hold its own. So I, I you know, if you want to run the iron sight just because it's gold plated, go ahead but what i run it with is the three times scope and it, it's even better with the three times scope honestly but you know if you want that gold in there then run the gold plated iron sight it will not do you any wrong so yeah that's the first piece then moving on into the muzzle again decent looking i actually like the way that muzzle looks a lot more than uh some of the other muzzles that come on the other weapons but this is a very nice looking muzzle and i know that this weapon was in battlefield one i think it was a dlc weapon i never got to use it because i stop playing battlefield one after like two three months of playing um you know once it came out i just really got bored of it so i never got to use this gun um but yeah moving on into the handguard now there is a lot of wood on this gun so there's going to be a lot of wooden pieces so if you don't like the way the wood looks then you know this gun probably isn't the one you want to go ahead and max out but here you go that is the wooden handguard as you can see it goes into that brown yellowish uh wooden color and i'm actually starting to dig this you know before I was like, eh, I don't know, I don't really like it, but you know, now it's starting to grow on me a little bit from all the guns that I've seen. Um, and yeah, moving on into the magazine, this is the golden, uh, gold plated magazine, and it looks quite nice. I know this looks like a very big mag. You'd probably think it's like 25, well, no, it is 25, but you'd probably think it's like 30, 35 bullets, but it's not, it's 25 bullets, um, which is decent. I wish it was 30, I wish there was an extended magazine option, but sadly there isn't, you know. Um, but you can go ahead and take out one or two enemies, well not one or two, like two to three, four enemies with one magazine if you're placing your shots correctly. So there you go, that's the gold plated magazine. And now moving into the stock, again this is probably my least favorite part just because of the butt of the stock, you know it has that crest. Again I feel like that's a terrible place to put it, I just don't think it looks nice, it's way too big and it takes away from the stock. Um, you know being completely one color so yeah there you go that's the gold plated stock and now moving into the best part and now this part brings the gun together completely um is the receiver this is the second to last piece you do unlock it's not the last piece but you know it's, it's pretty easy to unlock this piece um and there you go give you guys a quick spin it has again the black with the gold pattern on it it looks very very nice and yeah, this gun is very satisfying to use. I recommend that you do this weapon. Um, everyone got it for free. Uh, if you didn't get it, um, 
I really wouldn't know what to, to how to help you out in that situation. I know they give a, they gave out a pump shotgun, but I didn't get it. You know, some people say they, they didn't get it either. I don't know if they gave it out yet or not. Um, but yeah, here you go. This is the Ribby Rolls gold plated level 10 max style and now let's hop into the specializations i went with the full right side of the tree you know quick aim custom stock high velocity bullets and barrel bedding and honestly if i'm being 100 percent honest there's no difference in the way this weapon performs with the specializations i have i will probably go ahead and try out the the left side um but honestly the left side gives me options that i don't really care for like Enhanced grip, which is for hip fire, quick reload. I don't really care for that. And then slings and swivels. I, you know, switching the weapon 50% faster to your secondary. I just don't really care about that either. So I think the right side is the best side to go with, but it doesn't really give you that much of a upgrade if I'm being honest. Although this is a very very good gun. It is very slow though, so you're gonna have to get used to it. Um, and yeah, that's basically the customization part of this video. I will go ahead and show you guys the assignments. I forgot, I accidentally forgot to clip uh, the third assignment, but I think it's like at 20 kills in one round, which is pretty easy. You can go ahead and do that in one round. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the third assignment. I just forgot to screenshot it. Uh, so yeah, again, if you did enjoy this video um, or any other of my Battlefield 5 videos, make sure to go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment, and most importantly, subscribe so you do not miss out on any more Battlefield 5 content coming out real soon. And with that being said, thanks so much for watching, peace out, take care, and hopefully you enjoy these in-game clips. See you in the next video.